This rain is not good news for a lot of local businesses who depend on sunshine and nice weather. That's right. News 8's Tina Detail went to some popular summer spots. Get ready to be hungry, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. Just to see how they're faring. Abbott's is, of course, known for its hot lobster rolls, but along with these lobster rolls, these ladies also have hot coffees, and it's all because of this weather. Number six, number seven. Just seven orders at what is usually a very busy lunchtime at Abbott's Lobster in the Rough. But this week's weather has been rough on business. The heat is on and the doors are closed. I had to warm up. Even though the car was warm, I just got cold thinking about all the rain. Nancy Golden and Sybil McCormick Groff always stop at Abbott's during their annual trip to Newport, rain or shine. Is it usually a little warmer than today? Yes. <laughs> yes. But I've seen it when it's been bucketing rain. The sad thing is, so we have to call off employees. There's obviously no customers, no work. On the brighter side, Deirdre Mears says they can catch up on folding bibs and stocking up. And for the lobster lovers, there is little wait and plenty of seats available inside and out. I'm from Minnesota, so I'm used to it, but I kind of was thinking it'd be a little warmer here. <laughs> <laughs> the rain did shut down Abbott's other half, Costello's Clam Shack, in the nearby Noang shipyard and apparently halted work on this house under construction. You have too many of these and there's just no, there's no recovering. Fortunately, the sun is expected to return, ending this first rainy streak of the season. Started out great this year and I'm sure it'll get great again. This weather also delayed the release of this big guy. He's 18 pounds. They had him here at Abbott's on Memorial Day weekend. People could take pictures with him and now he'll be released tomorrow instead. And thank you, by the way, for holding that microphone. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a lot to handle. In Noank, Tina Detail, News 8.